my beautiful people, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what I did and how I uh, made this jacket all the way from scratch. Well, not scratch, but how I added the little, um, you know, shiny stuff to it. What I did in order to make sure that it stays on, um, you know, because I'm going to be using this jacket while in the back of a motorcycle with my boyfriend and so i just wanted to look super cute while while i'm riding in the back because of course you know you want to be looking cute next to your man girl so i'm gonna show you guys everything and how i did it and i hope that you guys like this video and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and become part of the family that i want to create you love me i love you we love each other and we create a happy point from today and on and we become successful at this and we appreciate each other and our time and so let's get ready for this video and let's see what i used and subscribe okay you guys so this is what we're gonna need the materials that we're using to create the awesome jacket you saw me wearing. I bought this jacket for $20 at Discovery. And I figure why not make it look sparkling and cute, right? So, we're also going to be using this fabulous fabric. Look at how sparkly it is. Now, this fabric I got it at my fabric store that I love going to it's actually like a big outlet and oh my god this thing this is actually very expensive it's not even one yard it's half of a yard and well to me it's expensive this little half a yard was $20 so you could imagine how much the yard was so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna cut the things that we want and then we'll be Attaching them to our jacket to make it look just awesome. And it's so pretty, you guys. Look. Sparkly. Look at that. So beautiful. So, first we're going to cut. Boop, boop, boop. Thing now. I would suggest that before cutting, you kind of lay it on top of your jacket to sort of see where you're going to want them. Because you definitely could reuse some of the parts that you don't use from this for something else. Like, this is so pretty. You definitely don't want to waste it. And be careful when cutting, okay? So, I'll see if I can try to show you how I'm going to cut. But I'm not quite sure that I'll be able to. But, let's figure it out together. This part is a little tricky. Because when cutting lace, you got to be really careful that you don't like cut more than you should. Or you'll just get it damaged. So, right here, it's hard to, you know, come along because this is connected right here. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fold this. And I'm going to make an incision right here and then cut so that I could have an opening thing like this, okay? Okay, you guys, so I forgot to tell you that we're also going to be using this E6000 glue to um, basically stick our little decor we have to our jacket. So I only, I've only cut a couple of pieces first because I want to like try these out and see where I like them, see where I like them placed, and then I'll know what else to keep cutting from the rest of the fabric. So let's try these out first. So I have glued my first part, which was this. Um, the glue is my first time using it. So we'll see how it comes out and we'll need to put more like, for example, I feel like I need to put more right here. So let's put a little bit more. So you're hard to do this you guys but you see like that's the thing like the glue comes up by itself so we just have to make sure that we're putting it right you see and this little axis that we're getting right here i'm gonna remove it with well right now with my nail but i've been trying to use um the same cotton that the glue came in so what i started doing what i started doing was that i started like gluing first like the top pieces to see how i wanted them so that they would remain still and so i already glued this part on but as you can see this i haven't so what i'm gonna do oh fuck oh, i'm sorry it was drying okay so what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna sort of like flip it like this and continue on putting the glue so that i could start like laying it flat like this 
but it will remain in place. Sort of like how when you put like, you know, like your screen protector on your phone, right? Going from up to bottom, making sure that every piece is being glued on as you go down and like as you're also trying to remain centered, okay? Okay, so this is how the back of the jacket looks. Does it look cute? Does it not? Imagine everybody riding behind us. They're gonna be like, oh, that's such a cute jacket. You guys like it? Cute, right?